Hey everybody, thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're gonna launch a new series where I'm gonna take a look at a number of different red dots, regardless if that's open emitter or closed emitter, it doesn't matter. All the different red dots that I have in my collection right now, I'm gonna start doing some reviews on. And this is actually a series that I have, um, kind of put off a little bit because I've only had a couple, like I've had an RMR and I've had a 507C for a little bit and I, I just didn't think I had enough variety for you guys to take a look at, but now I do. I have several uh, red dots and we're gonna start seeing more and more videos uh, here in the coming future. And the reason for that as well is because over the last 12 to 18, maybe 24 months, I've started to really gravitate towards pistols for concealed carry purposes that are already optics ready, regardless if that is the P10C or the uh, Canik TP9 Elite SC or um, Glock 19 Gen 5 MOS, it doesn't matter. Most of the pistols that I'm looking at right now has gotta be optics ready or it's already going to have a ding against it in my book. Again, that is specifically because I wanna have a red dot on my concealed carry pistol, regardless if it, ha if it needs one or not. I, I have to have one personally because my eyes are starting to fade and um, I have found that shooting with a red dot uh, extracts the most accuracy out of my abilities than shooting without one. So with that being said, we're gonna be talking about two of the newest red dots and I think this is a good place to start for a number of different reasons, we'll talk about that. Before we get into that though, what is your favorite red dot? Is it from a certain manufacturer? Is it only a specific manufacturer that you'll only buy from? Let me all know all of that down in the comment section down below and uh, I'm kind of interested in seeing what you guys like for red dots, so maybe if it's something I haven't looked at before, I can see if I can get a hands on one of those and uh, do a review for them. In addition to that, if you guys are not already signed up for the Fit and Fire newsletter, I encourage you guys to swing them by fitandfire.com and uh, check it out. I have uh, some really great deals on ammo because we're starting to see prices tick down and I'm trying to get the best prices out for you every single week. Also going to have some really great deals on firearms, firearms accessories, so you guys can find things like some of these red dots on the cheap. And then I'm also going to have some resources on training. Most of the instructors that I have listed in my newsletter, I've already trained with, so I'd encourage you guys to check it out. And it's across the United States, so hopefully you can find something for you. Again, swing on by fitandfire.com. On the homepage, you can sign up for it. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, so let's talk about the two newest red dots out on the market today, and uh, these are going to be a uh, budget-minded set of red dots for you guys, and that's going to come from Primary Arms. It's going to be their mini reflex sight and their micro reflex sight. These are really going to do a really good job at bridging that gap from buying something that is extremely cheap on Amazon versus buying something that is you know a couple hundred dollars from something like Hollow Sun or um, someone like, you know, Trigicon or something like that. This is going to kind of bridge that sweet spot. They're running in right around $150 and I think they have some really great features that will do most people really good, especially if you're looking for something to go on and inexpensive pistol as well. So with that being said, let's take a look at the mini reflex sight first. And that's what we have here on my PSA Rock 57 by 28 millimeter. Incidentally, I'll have a separate video on this pistol because I'm pretty excited about this. With all that being said, this is going to be set up with a RMR footprint. It's going to have a 2032 battery and have 40,000 hours of battery life. Now, if you're like me, the 40,000 hour battery life is not that big of a deal for me because I swap out my batteries on my red dots, regardless if it's on pistols or rifles. I do it on my key fobs and my garage door opener at the beginning of every year. A lot of people will say that that's kind of a waste of uh, batteries, especially if you have something that will last like three, four years. But I wanna make sure that I have the confidence to know that um, my red dot will never go out unless it breaks. 
I don't have to worry about the battery, so I swap them out every year. I'd encourage you guys to consider that at the very least, but if that's not you, that's fine as well. So that is uh, really, really nice. It has 10 brightness settings, and I will say that um, on the highest setting in a bright sunny day, it is adequate. I would say that it may be a little dim, but realistically, with me being out at the range with this running, like I said, about 300 rounds, I didn't have any issues. Right at midday, uh, it was extremely bright, shooting with sunglasses on, and I could still see the dot, no problem. So that is really, really good. It's going to have a really nice, tough aluminum alloy housing, so you don't have to worry about it being like a Romeo Zero, like a SIG Romeo Zero polymer housing. This is aluminum, so you don't have to worry about it getting um, you know, messed up or dented up or break easily like you might if you were to run a um, Romeo Zero. This is going to be ideal for concealed carry. Would it be good for duty use? Uh, maybe, maybe not. We're going to look into that. We're going to take this and, you know, jam it up against some barriers or the tailgate of my truck and, and kind of beat it up a little bit and see what, uh, see how robust it actually is. One of the great things that I do like about this is it has a 24 by 17 millimeter uh, objective lens on here. So it's going to be the, about the same size of what you would expect from an RMR. It does have a conical shape on top instead of the, um, instead of the concaved, it's going to be a convex style uh, housing here. So it's going to give you a little bit more of a window than what you would expect from like an RMR. So that's something I really do like as well. Now let's talk about two of the um, minor issues that I uh, have seen about this so far. First and foremost is the fact that, like I had already mentioned, on its brightest setting, it might be a little dim. Uh, so for individuals that might be in areas such as like uh, Arizona or Nevada or Southern California where the uh, desert environment in, in kind of increases the brightness, this might be ever so slightly uh, dim for you guys. However, for me, like I said, when I was out at the range the other day, it was a bright sunny day and I really didn't have any issues even though I was shooting with sunglasses. The only other thing too that I would have to say that I didn't particularly care for on this is the elevation and windage adjustments. These are going to be um, very inexpensive setups on this. I guess that's the best way to say it. There's no clicks involved in this. Uh, if there are, they're so slight and subtle uh, that you don't even hear them or feel them. So uh, making the adjustments might be a little bit more uh, challenging that you're just going to kind of have to feel and um, take this, shoot a few rounds, see where you're hitting, make your adjustments, shoot a few more, see where it's hitting, make some adjustments, and you might have to go back and forth uh, a few times on getting the elevation and windage set up for your red dot. Outside of that, you really can't expect too much out of this uh, red dot because these are coming in, both of them are coming in right around that $150 mark. And I think that is pretty much uh, obtainable by most people out there. So having something from Primary Arms that's going to have a you know lifetime warranty on this for 150 bucks, I think that's, I think that's fair. Okay, so let's talk about the micro red dot that Primary Arms just came out with. Again, very similar to the Mini. This Micro is going to be an RMSC footprint. It's going to be an aluminum housing, 40,000 hour battery life. It's going to be a CR2032 battery. And again, is going to be uh, a lifetime warranty on it and coming in right around that $150 mark. I have it set up on my Canik TP9 Elite SC and one of the great things about this is the fact that it is going to be compatible with most of the RMSC footprints like I just mentioned, but it sits so low that I can still co-witness my iron sights with this particular uh, red dot. So if you are running, say, this or maybe the Glock 48 MOS or any pistol that has the ability to accept an RMSC footprint, this may 
like I can't confirm all, but it may co-witness with the stock sites. So that's something I really, really do like about this as well. Again, this is going to have 10 brightness settings and having it outside is going to be just ever so slightly dim, like I had mentioned before, but uh, so far so good. I think it's still going to be plenty bright for most everybody out there as well. It's also going to have a 21 by 15 millimeter aperture on the lens. So that is going to be plenty big. And with this being on the Canik, anytime that I bring it up, I'm having no issues finding that red dot and putting it exactly where I want each and every single time. Even though it is the micro red dot, I still feel that this is a pretty large window on here. And it's so small that it's not going to interfere with most of the holsters that you have available for the, the Canics or any other pistol that you may put this on. So these are two of the newest red dots out on the market today. And I think that Primary Arms is really doing a great job of bridging the gap between um, affordability and quality as well. Again, you're not buying something from some no-name Chinese company on Amazon. You're getting a Primary Arms uh, warranty with these red dots and uh, they are going to be pretty tough as well, especially with that aluminum body. But let me know what you guys think. Sound off in the comment section down below. Let me know if there are certain things that you want me to uh, put these red dots through as far as testing goes. Um, I'm a little apprehensive on dropping these quite as of yet because I would like to swap them out from pistol to pistol to see how they run. Get a thousand rounds through both of these red dots and uh, let you guys know on down the road how they have stood up after a thousand rounds, maybe I'll drop them and see what happens from there. But I do think that for kind of day-to-day, -day, uh, a budget-friendly option for concealed carry, these are going to do you just fine. And I honestly believe that they're probably a little better than some of the other options out on the market today that may have like polymer housings. But again, I leave it to you guys. Sound off in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? Do you think that these are going to be a good option for uh, some of the budget-minded individuals out there? Uh, do you think that they're going to stand up over time? Obviously, we'll find out. Let me know what you guys think and what you want to see down in the comment section down below. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so much for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. Again, swing on by fitandfire.com and sign up for the newsletter. Get in on those giveaways that I do every single month and I would greatly appreciate it. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Take care, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.